bit of chaos in Ellicott City this week, but for a good reason. Yeah, Gordon Ramsay's 24 hours to hell and back was back <laughs> and there, and he's still there on the down low, but how can you not tell the truth to Abby Isaacs, who know. found out what's going on on Main Street? The excitement, the curiosity is building here on Main Street in Ellicott City. Gordon Ramsay's crews have been here for nearly a week, focusing most of their efforts on three separate businesses. But other Ellicott City business owners tell me it's really a good thing for the entire town. It's like an ongoing surprise. What will he do next? Nobody knows. But celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay is the talk of the town. I just think he's cool, honestly. I actually really wanted to see his kitchen. His show, 24 Hours to Hell and Back, taking over a parking lot and drawing big crowds. Are you all sticking around for the relaunch today? Leaving only breadcrumbs about what's going on. I think everybody's kind of on their toes and just excited. The show's goal is to help struggling restaurants. In Ellicott City, three got the celebrity treatment. Little Market Cafe off Lot D, Jackson Edwin towards the bottom of Main Street, and at the top, the newly merged Phoenix Brewing Company. Ramsey revealing the new logo to owner Mark Hemis this morning. <laughs> it's all been hush hush, but business owners say the buzz it's creating is great. We're really, really happy to have some, you know, positivity in town and to have this kind of excitement and attention um, that doesn't have anything to do with a natural disaster. It's, it's been a lot of fun. Fun in the midst of ongoing flood mitigation efforts after the town was hit with two devastating floods in two years. While three businesses got the renovations, Park Ridge Trading Company owner Julia Sanger says everyone is benefiting. Um, the other day they had a huge volunteer effort to do some cleanup and some flower planting and all of that around the street. And it's, it's really been a concerted effort to make the street reinvigorated. The big reveal for the public comes tomorrow. These businesses will be back open for business to show off their newly remodeled spaces. In Ellicott City, Abby Isaacs, WMAR 2 News.